for more on this story, we can go across to London and bring in Hamid Hakimi, lead researcher on Afghanistan at Chapman House. Thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. Now, Donald Trump touted the progress his team has made in negotiations with groups, including the Taliban. But what progress is he talking about? Because just yesterday, the Taliban carried out uh, an attack on an army base in Kunduz. What President Trump is talking about is the uh, direct talks that um, the U.S. official envoy for reconciliation in Afghanistan, uh, Ambassador Khalil Zad, uh, is doing at the moment with the Taliban. So he's held a series of uh, rounds of talks with the Taliban in Doha. Uh, Taliban representatives are currently in Moscow speaking to a number of elite, uh, political elites from Afghanistan. This is not where the Americans are speaking to them. but. Uh, for the first time, at least in public uh, domain, we know that the Americans and the Taliban are speaking face to face and that they are actually uh, putting the details of uh, some of those uh, conversations that they have had out to media. Uh, so f from that angle, yes, it's a new thing that is progress of some sort, I would say. So yes, the, the US president has admitted that there have been negotiations underway. Is that an, an admission that the, the conflict over the na last, what, 19 odd years has failed, essentially? I think for at least a decade, uh, there has been uh, admission by all parties, at least, uh, if not overtly, but, but to some extent, that this war in Afghanistan required a political settlement. Uh, with, with a massive uh, upsurge of troop levels uh, since 2001 at various stages, particularly before 2014. Um, the Taliban insurgency was not defeated, if I could use that term, and various kinds of tactics deployed by the international uh, military presence in Afghanistan could not bring the levels of violence and the Taliban's uh, insurgency strength you know, uh, to lower levels. So I think the admission that there should be a political settlement is nothing new. But what is new is the momentum and, and also the fact that Americans are actually leading on that momentum. The Taliban for many, many, many years have been asking for uh, direct conversations with the Americans because they've always felt, uh, or at least in their uh, narrative, they put out this argument that the Americans are the other party uh, to the conflict, uh, that that's their opponent and that they wanted only to speak to the Americans. And, and that's happening at the moment, as we speak. Now, there are also peace talks, as you mentioned earlier, that are underway in Moscow. The United States is not a part of those uh, talks. Neither is Ashraf Ghani. Should they be invited to the table? I mean, I'm, I think the invitation was extended by— But rejected, I mean, the way clearly, the yes. Moscow talks have been— no, the, the way the Moscow talks have been organized is projected as the Afghan diaspora in Moscow doing this event. So this is not an official event per se, but perhaps, uh, you know, we can't deny that there's definitely some institutional support that they're getting from the Russians and probably from the region. Um, the pr Afghan president is not happy with this because he believes that uh, the Afghans should go to the elections, presidential elections next uh, this year in July and choose a stronger government with a stronger mandate and uh, a single head of state, because currently the, the national unity government in Afghanistan is seen as, uh, a, as a government run by two, uh, you know, uh, two people rather than the president. So he, he's very keen on, on leading on election and then the reconciliation, or at least parallel. Uh, whereas uh, because of the levels of violence and also because of the elite power politics inside Afghanistan domestically, uh, there's, there, there are some elements in Afghanistan, including some presidential candidates, uh, who are very keen to engage the Taliban so that while the election business uh, is looked at with, with a view to sort of participate, but that they also have uh, a channel of communication with the Taliban, that they know how to end the war. Because I think everybody in Afghanistan, uh, at least among the political elite, accept that the Americans might actually just leave. And, and that's the fear that a lot of Afghans also hold. Hamid Hakimi, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us on the program today.